Hi guys, Vibram Burnett here, and I know I look really bad, but, um, as August 5th was my brother's birthday, which is technically yesterday, but, um, today, and, um, we were really, really busy, you know, we recently got back from a dance competition, my mom was also out of town at Lake George, and we were just really, really busy with everything, so there wasn't a lot of time to, you know, get gifts, and I am the type of person who always, always gets Christmas gifts, and birthday gifts, and things for Easter, and things like that, even for my dogs, and just friends in general, I always am the person who will have a gift, so, this is going to be kind of like a, kind of like DIY, like easy put together things that you can make if you don't have a lot of time to put together a gift bag, so, this is the bag that I put in, and I made this bag, and it just says Bobo's B-Day bag with a smiley face in the middle, and it has some leftover green hairspray on it from, um, you know, like Halloween, and, um, you can use these, you know, like treat bags, Halloween bags, anything like that, because it's cool, and I made this out of an old white feature, you can use any old t-shirt, and what I did is I cut strips at the bottom, and then tied them together so it creates like a cool look and then I cut the straps straight off and then yeah it's my brother he's pretty happy about what he got and then I just kinda like went in the middle and made a little hole so you would have a handle and you could even just you know like tie them together or have them carry it like this but I just thought this was cooler and we call him Bobo for as a nickname in case you were wondering and I'm just gonna show you the stuff inside the bag so the first thing is, of course, a card. And I could have went to the dollar store and bought a card and everything, but like I said, we didn't have a lot of time, and I was hoping to get around to that so I could buy him, you know, some markers and stuff to decorate this bag more. You know, that's always fun. So not only for a birthday gift do they get this bag, they can decorate it. And it's really cool. I think I'm going to do this for Halloween because and invite, you know, like my little cousins over or something before Halloween because we usually trick or treat them and have them decorate their own bags that I make for them out of old t shirts because we we do have like a lot of old white stained t shirts. So I just made a card out of two pieces of construction paper. You can use staples, but I just used some tape. And it says Happy B Day Bobo and then it has some game titles, some certain things that he likes. You can also use stickers, you know, paints and things like that. I, I'm not even joking, I had like five minutes to like put some of this stuff together. So, and I just have some, you know, like thoughts in there I said, and I signed the card. And it's just really cute, you can decorate it, and you know, I just use blue and yellow. Because he likes blue and yellow, and you can use any color, and again, this is out of my construction paper little thing that I got, I packed from Dollar Tree. So most of the stuff I had on hand. So I have a card in there, of course. Who doesn't like to have a card? And then I had this dolphin from a the like Riverside Carnival, I think it was, that I just like kind of like hid and put in a box because I thought this would be cool to like give it as a gift. And he has some like little stuffed animals that he keeps as like because they're like soft to near your like pillows and stuff. So I got put this in there for his gift bag, and he hasn't seen it, so of course he didn't know that. And then I made these crayon muffins out of like broken crayons that were just laying around. So I'll pull those out to show you. And one of them did <laughs> get broken. But I can still show you a piece of it. And these are like the little broken pieces. But there's part of like the little muffin yet. So I lined a muffin pan. I actually used my baby cakes maker. And then it didn't fully cook. So I molded them in the freezer. But you take the crayons. You melt them. And then you can either just have them baked. Or after you like melt them. Um, you know, put them in the freezer and mold them. So this one, it just had, it was just like that on the top and that on the bottom. And you can actually use these extra crayons. And it's also really safe for kids because crayons are, of course, non-toxic and made for kids who are prone to putting things in their mouth. Which my brother is ten now, so of course he's not. But here's one. It just has a red top. And they just look really, really cute and cool. And it's a bunch of colors in one. One sec, guys. I have to check something out. I'm going to really go and check something. And then here's another one. And it's like a red and blue tap. And then the bottom is pretty sweet. It has green, purple, and pink. Excuse the background noise. 
This one's a little bit smaller because it did get, oops, sorry. 